man. It's your boy Dirty Guy Game TV, man. I'm here with Hilltop Kizzy, man. Let him know who you is. Yo, you already know who in the building, man. Hilltop Fine is coming out of Sugar Hill. Weapon G's Lee. It's Hilltop Kizzy, man. I'm here with my boy Nerd Guy Game TV. You know, this interview is gonna go crazy. In this interview, I'm gonna question you about a lot of things like your music career, the Hall of Jewels scene, but mainly I wanna focus on one person, that's Mr. Dennis. Can you speak on why you and him have tension on the Instagram lives? Cause they be getting a little bit crazy, like they be getting a little bit hectic, so can you speak on that? Alright, so, I'ma keep it a fuck with you. We really start beefing because I don't wanna really touch up on this too much, so I'ma keep it short and sweet. We really started beefing because, like, it was a rumor going around that I said his name in the track. So, you know, I'm like, I had to drop a song about this, you feel me? So, like, he want to really hear his name in the track? Got you. So, I dropped Watch Your Mouth. That's at about, I think, like, 500K. I dropped that a few months ago. So, um, yeah, I dropped Watch Your Mouth. And basically, I'm saying, like, Scream Hilltop K, you get shot in his face, or like, just watch him out when you talk about us. On one Instagram live, Hilltop Slat has said 11 on Rich Hat Switch gigs. So, can you put your input on that? Like, where did Hilltop get that from? Because I knew him as Tate Town Rich, and I just want to know, like, what's your side of it? Like, what's your side? Of it? How did you find out? I've been, I've been getting this a lot. So, it's not really a rumor, because this is like facts. So like one day we see well for a minute we were seeing Glid. As first he started off as Take Town Rich. That's really where he got his cut from. That's how I found him. You know, he do his lives, ran in on his ops, right? So this back when Take Town and Ron City was going at it. So they beefing with each other, you know. I see him on um on Instagram going live, you know, he talking about his ops. So I joined the live, um, I think when he got shot, yeah, I joined that, and that was on Talk of the Town, so I'm seeing that, and he just, like, going crazy, he like, yeah, blah, blah. so I see a few days, like, it was like two, three months later, he was talking, he was on the, and he was on the internet, then he was like, uh, he, he posted on his story, he was like, yeah, I'm with my brother, I'm like, he like, yeah, I know this sounds crazy. Like, he, you know, posted all that on his story. So I'm like, when is, when do you have a brother? Mind you, so I'm not, I just used to really, like, watch his live. So I, I really, so I brush it off. Like, he probably, I just don't really watch it. So, a few days later, they had posted, like, a picture. And this is the same time, you know, we started beef. So I'm like, uh, he posted the picture with, a uh, Kane. So I'm like, all right, what's going on? Like, what's happening right now? So he puts the picture with Ken. I'm like, this is weird. Ain't he from our city, Tate Town? So then Damn, my they big guy. You a fool for and they this. all came together and formed, I think it's 11-9 C-Block. That's what they call it. So I'm like, hold on. You was just dissing them. Ron City members was going crazy against Tate From what I'm hearing in the streets and what I'm seeing, no get back is being God. I don't I don't know what's going on here. So I'm like, ain't y'all beefing? He like, yeah, that's my brother. And we basically like, we don't respect him for that. I mean, because if it's your brother at the end of the day, I mean, I guess you're supposed to go with family, yeah. But one thing is, just cause that's your family that means you connected. And two, like, when he got shot on that live, from what I'm hearing, no, no Ron City nigga was there with him to help his wound, you feel me? When he got his clout, he got that from, like, being Tate Town. So everything he, like, basically, like, the people who made him are Tate Town members. You get what I'm saying? So, like, that don't make sense for you to switch up on them just to go with your quote, quote, brother. Then on top of that, when C thing died, like a few hours later, I see him post um RIP C thing. I'm like, um, yeah, I'm like, I must be tripping. I must be, cause this is like weird. But yeah. I'm gonna return.
turn back to the topics of like the Harlem beats and all that, but right now I want to talk about your rap career or your music career. Like, how do you feel that it's going? Like, do you feel like it's going in the right direction or the wrong direction? Alright, so I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like my music career is somewhat flopping. Nah, nah, I'm gonna give it that. It's, it's flopping. Because really, like, yeah, my last song that really been dropping. I ain't been putting my like my all into it really, but um, cause I'm like, I guess a lot going on right now. Like my head is really everywhere sometimes. Like I gotta keep my head on the swivel cause now I got ops. Um, you know I'm trying to get money and all that. So like the last thing I'm really thinking about is music. I'm trying to stay alive. I'm trying to survive. Trying to feed my family. But really, like, if I, like, focus on the rap stuff a lot, that could be, you feel me, my money getter. But really, it's like, I don't know. It's really, like, just too much going on. Like, it's hard to concentrate on one thing. So, yeah, I definitely feel like it's flopping and it's on hold. If Romeo was here, you know. That's really, like, when I used to drop, like, fire songs, that's really who used to help yeah, R.P. to Romeo, he was only 13 when he got killed, but speaking of Romeo's age at his, like, when he, when he had died, like, is there such thing as being a regular or a normal kid nowadays that there's a, a big war zone and everybody wants to grow up and be a shooter, a killer, and a gangbang, a such thing of that nature, like, do you feel like, is there such thing as being a regular kid nowadays? Um, to be honest with you, like, is there such thing being as a normal kid, really? It's like, it's like this, bro. You could be a normal kid, really. Well, no, I can't, I can't, from my perspective, I don't think there's a such thing as being normal. Because, like, when some people categorize, like, for real, for real, there's no real, like, normal person. Like, the, the, I, I don't even know what that means. Like, what does it mean to be normal? But, like, Damn, like a kid up. that's just like not in the games that like go to school or like a standard kid I would say I mean yeah but like some people don't want to be that because they get looked at as as weirdos or like civilians and some people they just want to fit in they don't want to really be in that category so I guess it kind of is but they get called weirdos from where I'm from Streets is what you rap about in your songs, and that's how you tell your stories, and that's where you get your stories from. So, can you tell us, like, how did you step into the streets? When did you step into the streets, and why? Well, um, really, I stepped in the street lane, I guess, as, a uh, probably, like, like, befo like, before I was, I was always outside, but, like, like, I was outside, like, trying to get money and stuff. But, um, probably, like, when I officially, like, when I made it known I was outside was about, I think it was, like, uh, it was a few months ago when my, um, my, like, my OG had died. And people was just, you know, they, like, the other side, they was, like, yeah, smoking on top. I, I can't say that. It was, like, da 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 So, I'm, like, you know, I can't, I can't let this fly because if it was, if it was, if the rose was reversed, you feel me? Top G's one, he will not let nobody smoke on us, so I stepped outside because I had to, you know, like, make sure niggas know to put some respect on his name, but really, um, I low-key, I just was trying to get some money, but the thing yeah, is, like, straight up. Harlem, you a fool for this. if you get money, it's always somebody that's, that's gonna hate on you, or gonna stop you from getting money, so, it's really, like, I, I don't know, like, with, with money comes problems, so, and I'm not really, like, I'm not even, like, a, a rich person, really, if you think about it, but I got a lot of problems, so a lot of people want me, like, want me deceased, and on top of that, like, people have, like, my ops, they got friends, so if I had beef with someone, and they got a man's, and they really close to them, automatically have beef with them because it's like I inherited their beef 
but yeah, really, I can't really, you know, can't really let that mess with my head or none of that, but yeah. With all the deaths that have been going on in Harlem and all the deaths that has been surrounded around you, do you think that you will stay in Harlem or do you think that you will ever just leave Harlem or New York completely, like, what is your thoughts on that, like, do you feel like you can actually do that one day? Um, to be honest, bro, I low-key don't think I can leave Harlem right now. I don't want to really leave, because it's like, I was raised here. You feel me? I, like, everything I learned, I learned from Harlem. But then again, I low-key want to leave, because, like, if I don't leave, that's selfish. That's me being selfish, because, like, of course I want to have children, so... Like if if I raise them in this type of in this type of um you know environment, it's kind of bad for them because a lot of people right now is not making it past 18, and it's very sad that this is happening. But Damn, you know, I can't up. You I can't really show no fear or no scared. Well, I can't really show me being scared because I'm I can't really say I'm scared though. But I can't really, I don't think I could leave. My heart is just here. Like, I really seen so many people in these projects. I used to be in these projects, even when we was home, even when we was down bad. We used to just be. I don't know, we always made a way out here, though. That's, that's one thing I can say. That's one thing I can say. One fact that I was putting on for Hilltop was Hilltop Romeo besides you with Hilltop Slap. And he recently was killed. I was before his birthday, and now that he's going, I just wonder what is the next step for Hilltop, and what do you guys have a plan for? Now I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, the way we living right now, it's like we are. My mindset is built in the streets. You get what I'm saying? But what I wanna see is like, you know, we get more presidential, more confidential, more business. If you get what I'm saying. So I really wanna have like our set, you know, get like legal money. Um, I just want us to get more like I don't know, like really, some of us wanna do rapping. But like I said, me, I'ma keep the buck with you. Like before all of this streets and all that, like I was the type of nigga like I'm low key, like you don't never really know I'm near. So I wanna do something that's gonna like. Put us at the top, like bring us, in, uh, uh, bring us in money, but it's like I don't know because I mean, what can I see for us? I know a lot of niggas ain't gonna make it. Damn, mighty straight up, you a fool for this. And I know, like, really, I can't even see myself making it. Out. Every day, matter of fact, every week somebody die. Our crime rate been going crazy in this. Even in Harlem, not even in the city. Harlem is been crazy. So if we make it, if I make it, I don't know. I really don't. I probably say we start, you know, getting industry money, like music money and all that. But other than that, Loki want to start like an architectural business, you know, flipping houses. No, not flipping houses. Um, you know, building like blueprints and stuff like that. Cause you know they get good money. I just wanna see my game eat, bro. But we gon' we definitely gonna talk about this. Cause this is a good question, you know, cause we in the streets every day.